Max is a popular 3D modeling and animation software used by professionals in the gaming, film, and architecture industries. However, despite its popularity, it is also a piece of software that many people love to hate. It has been a leading 3D modeling and rendering software for over three decades. Originally released in 1990 under the name 3D Studio, the software was developed for DOS-based computers and primarily used for creating 3D animations and still images. Over time, 3D Studio evolved and eventually was renamed 3D Studio Max in 1996, and then later in 2005, it became 3DS Max. With each new release, the software became more advanced, with updated features and capabilities that kept it in the forefront of the 3D industry. However, despite or perhaps due to its history and longevity, Max has not been immune to criticism, complaints, and plain hate. It's perhaps the most hated 3D software. People love to bash on it on forums or on the YouTube comment section, and every release is a sort of festival for more bashing. A lot of artists, especially professionals, strongly believe that this level of hatred is exaggerated not representative of what the software has to offer, and more importantly, gives a distorted view of 3ds Max especially to beginners, which can lead new users to make decisions based on that perception. However, on the other hand, many complaints are valid, and the issues raised should be taken into consideration by Autodesk and resolved. So today, we're gonna take a look at the various reasons why people dislike Autodesk, and most importantly, why they hate their beloved child 3ds Max. Autodesk is a publicly traded company, so it has to balance obligations to shareholders and users, but it leaned more on the shareholders and less on the user side, especially individual users. For example, the shift to the subscription model was not received well by the community to say the least, and it caused even more hatred towards Autodesk. While the indie license is a step in a good direction, I'm not gonna lie, the mistrust directed towards Autodesk is here to stay, and it is really really hard to fix its reputation in addition to the reputation of Max. The company also has a history of acquiring competing programs and then neglecting or discontinuing them. The most painful one for the 3D community is of course Softimage. This had led some users to be skeptical of the long-term viability of Max and to worry about its future development. One artist on Reddit said, I read this article from Digital Tutors, and since I read it, I'm now going to start learning Maya. I don't want to master a program that is probably gonna die in just a few years. End quote. The thing is, this article and Reddit comment were published in 2014, which is almost a decade ago, but Max is still popular and well despite its flaws, however, the fear and suspicion created around Autodesk is real. Another one added, The other point is the very bad licensing workflow. At one point, I had to install a cracked version of Max not because I didn't have a license, but because the licensing server was buggy and stopped working in the middle of a project. These are just some of the problems. Not to mention the convoluted evolution of the software. Remember the 3DS Max design version or the discontinuation of the combustion software, which was a good app, or maybe the real-time engine perhaps, and the list goes on. Before we continue, if you are interested in learning more about how to learn 3D modeling and animation, I recommend you try Skillshare. You may know Skillshare for photography, video editing, and illustration classes, but it actually has many animation, game development, and VFX-focused stuff. For example, Next Touch on Skillshare offers tens of classes like this one called 3DS Max 2023 for Beginners, which helps to learn the basics of Max. And if you are interested in creating characters, there are three classes, one about Blender, one about ZBrush, and one about Maya. And all of these are just from one creator so you can access thousands of classes every month for less than it will cost you to get just one. So the first 1000 people to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. One important point we must talk about is the huge and diverse user base of Max. 
One might think that having a large user base would be a good thing for 3D software, but in the case of Macs, it can be actually a source of frustration and hatred for some users. The widespread adoption of Macs has been a double-edged sword to say the least. On one hand, it has cemented the software position as the go-to tool for a variety of industries, ranging from architecture, film and television to video game development. Its versatility is impressive. It was used to create animations and environments for Assassin's Creed video games, for example, in addition to Halo Wars 2, Edge of Nowhere, For Honor, Dead by Daylight, and Watch Dogs 2 to name a few. Also, what makes it more important in the entertainment industries is its popularity in the VFX industry, because it is still one of the main 3D packages for studios like Fuse FuseFX, Blur Studio, Scanline VFX, and ILM. However, this popularity has also brought with it some challenges. With so many users relying on the software for different purposes and with different needs and workflows, it has become increasingly difficult for developers to keep everyone satisfied. I know, they weren't really trying until the last couple of years, with minor updates and bug fixes here and there over the last decade. So, each industry has its own demands, workflows, file formats and standards, and each user within those industries has their own way of working. As a result, it can be difficult to implement updates and improvements to satisfy everyone. This can be frustration for users who feel that their particular needs are not being met or that the software is not being developed in the direction that is beneficial to them. And this frustration can turn into hatred as users can feel like they are not being heard or the software is not keeping up with their changing needs and workflows. At CG Press, one of the most popular forums for 3DS Max users, each release will have this sort of comment. Comments like, sorry, they don't mention skin improvements anywhere in this update. What a sad state the animation slash rigging department is at. Or, I would love to see more big UI updates. The slate editor is so lacking and dated. Anyone who's used the shader editor and Note Wrangler in Blender will agree. Making it dockable in a future release, but it's so big and clunky. They need to hire a good UI designer. This is understandable. But I think it is a bit too late and inevitable as there is no way to improve all the functionalities of a big and huge software such as Max. But more effort should be spent on the features requested by users of course. In addition to the wide range of Max users, Max faces a fierce competition from other 3D software such as Blender and Houdini. Houdini is the best VFX software as it was purposefully developed to cater to VFX professionals. Cinema 4D on the other hand is the best for motion design and it is the biggest focus of Maxon. Also Blender can be considered the best 3D package for small studios and independent artists. The problem is, Max is relatively good at doing many things, but it's not the best at doing anything so to speak. This is something hard to explain as there is nothing that 3ds Max development team can do about it or at least it's gonna be a humongous task. To be honest, Max cannot be the best at everything. It is better at modeling compared to Houdini and better in VFX compared to Cinema 4D for example. But some users forget that there is a proper tool for every job and simply use Max as a punching bag. I understand, in a lot of cases it is justified. One of the common complaints about Max is its steep learning curve. While common to all 3D software, Max is huge, with a lot of features catering to specific industries and it requires a significant amount of time and effort to master. One thing that exacerbates this problem is the outdated and bloated interface. Max has undergone major UI upgrades, but you will still find some windows with old buttons, different styles for different features and so on. Not to mention the large amount of menus and functions buried really deep inside the program. The viewport for example is powerful, but it is very hard to configure, a point that even Autodesk is aware of and has promised to resolve. All this can be discouraging for beginners and often results in frustration and lack of interest in the software to begin with. In defense of Max, the interface is outdated, 
but it is extremely practical and it is also customizable because you can access any function via shortcuts and menus. Some areas of mags are constantly updated, for example modeling, because there is a chamfer modifier update in almost every release, but some areas are simply abandoned. Autodesk has a tendency to acquire a plugin just to glue them on top of Max and then just forget about it. Even features developed for Max suffer in the same way like the Max creation graph for example. Some areas have not been updated in a decade, so animators using Max for example have a good reason to complain because Cat has not been updated in 10 freaking years. Another major criticism of Max is its high cost and dependency on plugins. The software itself is expensive and subscription based and users often have to purchase additional plugins to be able to do certain things especially in game development and VFX. This can make the overall cost of using Max in the thousands of dollars which can be prohibitive to many users especially hobbyists and small studios. Just a fun fact, the VFX industry have been using Max for many years now, even decades, primarily because it has really great plugins such as Thinking Particles, Fume Effects, Krakatoa and so on, which play a huge role on how VFX artists do their job, especially in Hollywood. And since Max is a big software with many plugins and scripts glued on top of it, as a result, bugs are not gonna be a surprise. Many users report experiencing crashes and other issues when using the software. This can be frustrating, especially when working on large projects and working with tight deadlines. Additionally, the frequent updates and patches required to fix these bugs can be time consuming and disruptive to the workflow. Now back again at what Autodesk is not doing a great job at, which is marketing the software. Generally speaking, Autodesk does a poor job at marketing Max. They produce very few videos about new features or promote the old ones, and almost no effort in education video production, just few case studies or inspirational videos. Autodesk is generally out of touch with the new platforms, and most of the marketing efforts come from passionate users which is unfortunate for such an important product because it has a huge user base all over the world. So Autodesk mostly uses the momentum offered by industry usage and almost nothing else. Finally, and I'm gonna be honest here, some people dislike Max simply out of ignorance and as a form of trolling, and it is not even the newest thing on the web. It is true that some veteran 3ds Max users hate it, but many individuals might not have the same experience with the software. So sometimes people ask for features that already exist or saying something along the lines that they're gonna leave the VFX work using Max or any other field, which is something that we have seen a lot lately, especially since the release of Blender 2.8. New people to 3D can get away easily by using Blender and they absolutely don't need Max in any shape or form. But the industry now needs Max because it is an integral part of many studio pipelines. And the proof is, as we said before, Autodesk is not making a lot of efforts in terms of marketing the software, making it better, or even making users happy just because Max is a cornerstone in the CG industries including game development, VFX, and ArcVis. So as you can see, even though it is not the best software, it is still around and is gonna be sticking around for at least a couple of years, even though a lot of users hate it. Basically, it is a love-hate relationship since a lot of people need it, but they hate it, but they still have to use it because this is what they have to use in their work. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Also, you can take a look at some of our previous videos Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.